When the exhibition of poppies took over the Tower of London, no one could have imagined the impact they'd make. More than five million people visited the tower in the four months that they were on display. When it finished, the poppies were sold off, raising millions of pounds for charities. And now, many of the poppies are on display around the country, including this, the wave, here at Yorkshire Sculpture Park. The creation of the exhibition was a huge undertaking. Each of the poppies were individually handmade, with every one representing a member of the British or colonial forces who lost their lives in the Great War. The idea was the brainchild of this man, artist Paul Cummins. I'm really happy that people have liked it and people can express what they think about things because going to war is something I've never experienced and hopefully I never will. But everybody did do it for us and that's what we've got to remember, that people have done this for a very long time and they fought for what they believed in and what we have now. So it's the memories of that. So it was... Very costly for you, your blood, sweat and tears, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did trap a finger in a machine. Well, I trapped my hand in a machine and lost my middle finger. A little bit, but Derby has a very good hospital <laughs> to put them back together. One of the many people to have lost their lives during World War II was Flight Lieutenant Harry Chapman, who at the age of just 22 was killed in action when his Lancaster bomber was shot down. Among those Harry left behind were his baby daughter, Leslie, and his 11-year-old brother, Alan. Both were touched when they saw the exhibition in London last year and have made their way to Yorkshire to see the wave. Alan, what can you tell us about your big brother, Harry? What sort of man was he? Well, I was 11 at, at the time that Harry was in the Air Force, and he was always keen to tell me what it was like up above the clouds. Do you think that loss of your brother made an impact on you for the rest of your life? Well, it did, yes. I always felt that he was someone that I could go to if I was in trouble, but it was, it was not there. There was nobody to go to. I wish I could hear his voice and things like that, and I can't. So Alan's nearest I've got to him. <laughs> What you two share is having a faith. How has that helped you, Alan, over the years, to come to terms with this? Well, it helped me because you're not alone. There's someone there who can help you. And there's someone there who can go. Is it important to remember? You should never forget them, any of them. Oh, yeah, never forget them. Leslie and Alan wanted to take this opportunity to thank the creator of the exhibition and express their gratitude. Hello. Hello, Hello. how are you? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. I, uh... I brought mine with me. Oh. I was honoured to get one. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming up with the idea. Absolutely. I, I, I like to think that one of these has got my brother's name on it. You know, yeah. I know there's hundreds and thousands, but... Yeah. They're all different. Um, they're all different, yeah. It's a flower for a person, and the poppy in this country represents so much.
A very poignant and moving performance there from the Exultate singers. Later in the program, we'll reveal the story of The Last Post, and a bugler from the Royal Marines will be explaining what makes it so special at this time of remembrance. But first, a hymn to remember those who've lost their lives in wars at sea. Mm -hmm. 